did not think uh, when you were coming on today that uh, Al Horford and John Havlicek would be in the same sentence, but uh, <laughs> well, such is the know, case. That was an inspiring, uh, uplifting performance by, and all, all the more so because when you know that this is uh, one of those athletes that you can point to your kid and say, please be like him, do what, he, listen to him. Uh, Al Horford is for real. Is, is, and you guys, uh, here's me, uh, Rich, a year ago, you know how his season ended, right, in Charlotte? It ended, it didn't end at the end, it ended in the middle. They sat him down permanently so they could play kids. He was, he was a, an appendage. He was a surrogate assistant coach. And the Celtics traded Kemba Walker to get him back. And most people just, you know, arched their eyebrows and shrugged. Oh, wow, we want him back? He's done, right? Didn't Charlotte tell us he's done? And look at that last night. I mean, that is just one of the great stories of the year. I mean, and again, for, for Brad Stevens to say, I'm, I'm going to go upstairs and let's hire Ime Odoka from uh, Toronto and let's figure out what we're going to do with this roster and the fact that they're now in a best of three against the defending champs mm-hmm. after taking that one last night. It's truly, you know, uh, all the Celtics fans that I know from uh, my colleague yeah. here, Chris Brockman, my brother-in-law, my son, my youngest son, they, th- this is uh, like one of the most enjoyable Celtic seasons they could ever remember. Well, well you know? it has been since January. I can tell you that when the season started, yeah. and I-, I told people after a week they're annoying. You know they're better in your heart, but they're not doing it. Why aren't they playing better? Why aren't they doing what you know they can do? And this was true right up to the middle of January, and they suddenly got the epiphany, whether you, Amy got due to them or whether they started listening for a change or whatever. Uh, everything fell into place. Tatum started figuring it out. Brown, uh, smart, who I never thought could be a true point guard, uh, has turned into a legitimate point guard. Uh, and, of course, Robert Williams stayed healthy and long enough to make a difference, and which was the big issue with him. And, and Al was – filling all the spots here very nicely. Right now, when they play their best, Rich, they can play with anybody. I'm not predicting a win in the series. I'm not predicting the uh, conference finals. I'm not predicting anything. I'm simply saying that there's no team they can't beat. I don't see a Colossus. The league doesn't have a Colossus team. It's got some pretty nice teams. So they're in the mix, and, and I think people are enjoying the ride. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.